G'day guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. Um, going to do something a little bit different. Well, not, yeah, it's sort of a little bit different. It's a two-for-one special today. Um, we're going to be covering Triple One. Now, uh, sort of understand that they are an Australian hip-hop band and um, they're sort of just getting their, their footing and a bit of momentum in Australia. So many of my overseas uh, subscribers may not even know who they are. So... There is a uh, Triple J, which is a national uh, radio station run by the ABC, which is a government-owned uh, broadcasting. Uh, they do TV, radio, and all that. Um, once a week, they hold a Like A Version. Now, I've done a couple of Like A Version reactions before, uh, one or two, um, and the premise is they get a band or an artist in to do an original song, and then they also do a cover. So, being that... I'm sort of thinking maybe you might not even know who Triple One are. They've only released one album. Um, I've got it. It is it is pretty good. Um, when you just listen to it by itself and you don't know the premise behind it, it can seem a little odd, but there is a blurb in there and it explains how uh, it was sort of left by these uh, two people from the past Um who left it like a time capsule for the people in the future, and it explain it's great. <laughs> like it's actually it's actually really good. Um, but this song is called Love Rose. Now keep in mind this is live, um, and yeah, this is Triple One's like a version. Uh, go across to the Triple J channel. Go across to Triple One's channel. Lots of triples. Uh, maybe I should be perps, 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 and be triple. No, <laughs> but um, yeah. If you can't tell, I've got a little bit of hay fever today. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but, uh, you know, always here for you guys. So, if I do sneeze or anything, I'm just going to keep it, keep the video going. I'm not going to edit it out, but just know that I, I am a little bit puffy around the face. I am a little bit nasally today, and, um, yeah. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. The grind is real. So this is Triple One Love Rose. Be sure, if you do like my reaction to the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Let's other people know throughout the YouTube algorithm that, hey, people might, other people might want to see this. Um, so let's get a feel for this one. Uh, this is their original, and then we're going to go straight into their cover. Uh, I need to change screens and everything, obviously, but um, yeah, we're good to do that. So uh, this is Triple One Love Rose. I absolutely love the album version of this song. It's such a good song. And the fact that it's all live, live instrumentation. Got a few friends. Ooh. Still lonely though. People talk like the aliens. And well, that's out of my comfort zone. If it all makes sense. I walk you home. Sit outside and smoke cigarettes. Feel like I'm not, not alone. But that's fucking useless, oscillate while I paraglide Time nooses around the rumors, oscillation is do or die Do or die so I get it done, and get it done like a cattle dog Scrapping like I'm trying to hold the facts while they spreading shit like some alley cat sign Why you calling it easy, you don't know shit about it You don't know shit about nothing, you just some fucking actors Actors playing their part, but they don't write no chapters I write my shit from the heart, and all we spit is acid well, I don't wanna leave, no I don't wanna know Melting in a moment, melting in the snow Don't wanna parlay, don't wanna start No, I don't wanna leave, no, I don't wanna go Ew, I've been up waiting for it all night long I've seen it burning from the inside Oh, when the melody sings, yeah, the melody sings Turn on the days in my bed, all the nights that I feel For goodness sake, oh, you now, I love what they're doing with this live. Um, the whole stripped back um, sort of version of it all, um, which is typically what, what people will do in a Leica version. They will take something that uh, is quite heavy with drums and everything, and they, they will strip it back to the acoustic version. Um, I'm still yet to familiarize myself with the names of the band members, um, but typically this guy in the middle does come in uh, singing, more so than the rapping and then the other two artists um the first guy with the mustache and the tattoo on his head um and then the other guy with the hoodie on um they, they come in with more of the bars so it's it's not like a pure hip-hop sort of rap thing they're, they're this sort of they're their own little thing and i think what they do really works so i'm, I'm really digging how they've done this live been up waiting for it all night long i've seen it burning from the inside oh. Spaceships, two wings, six jets, 
but she cannot save me. Headlights be, we switch dials. This mission is future. Take all of my rocket and hold on my pocket, baby. Spit it and hock it. Sit on my booster, get net like a rooster. We never go too far. Fighter than make up, fighter than make love, fighter than fall. Wasn't made for mass production, darling. I'm all broken. Who went in it? The human is a sick and twisted one. And the higher that we fly, the smaller we see. I love that line. And again, like. It may sound like it's out of place and you know, why is he talking about you know wings like a rocket and having boosters and everything else but um, yeah when you read actually I'm just gonna pause it I'm gonna go grab the vinyl cover I'm gonna uh, I'll cut and edit it back to where I'm reading the vinyl cover and it just makes a little bit more sense hang on and we be back so this is the album cover um, the album's called Panic Force. Obviously, they're triple one. So, you can see the, the sort of rockets. Obviously, three ones, triple one. Makes sense. And then, that's the back of the cover there. Inside here. Now, where's this blurb? The year is 2020, obviously when this album this album dropped last year, and the Panic Force has been deployed to planet Earth. Panic Force is a squadron of elite agents established by the Galactic Council. Their sole purpose is to collect and archive the art, history, and relics of any advanced civilization before that civilization reaches its demise. With humanity becoming increasingly volatile and violent, it's only a matter of time before the occupants of occupants of Earth destroyed themselves in an all-encompassing war in 2020. Triple One creates an album in tribute to the Panic Force, which is a culmination of the band's experiences leading up to the destruction of Earth. The songs include many narratives of love, self-loathing, substance addiction, and reflections of the past. The album documents the band and their shadow selves during Earth's final day. However, the Triple One album doesn't get archived with the Galactic Council, as the band are deemed, uh, are deemed too insignificant to be preserved along the world's finest man-made creations. Instead, the album left on Earth in a platinum-plated briefcase as a global war rages on, eventually resulting in a death of humanity at large. Fast forward to the year 4020. After, destruction, after the destruction of planet Earth, Mother Nature has reclaimed all continents over the past two millennia. The Galactic Council was now ready to reseed human life on Earth, using only DNA samples from the purest, kindest genes. It's an amazing feat of bioengineering. They combine these genes to create two people who will be the first to inhabit the new planet Earth. They are named Sam and Sandy. On leaving, the Galactic Council, on leaving, the Galactic Council instructs both of them to never stray past the beautiful garden that, that which they have been allocated, and to never wander into the shadows where the past civilization's secrets are buried. Over time, Sam and Sandy grow tired of the garden and seek to explore the uncharted lands, despite the warnings of the Galactic Council. After a few days of walking through the uninhabited terrain, they stumble across a platinum-plated briefcase. Inside, they find this album. Sam and Sandy listen to the album from start to finish. Then they listen to it again. The album content corrupts them, and they come and they become libertines with little regard for each other or the earth ultimately the civilization they create will meet the same brutal demise only to de to continue the same loop for eternity so it sort of plays a little bit on uh like the christian adam and eve and then how we've all been from that and then the earth dies and then the galactic council reseeds us or you know sort of so once when I listened to the album, it didn't really make a lot of sense um, because it didn't relate to a lot of modern things that had this, you know. But once you read that and you, you understand it a little bit better, the whole album makes perfect sense. Um, there is one song on the album where they're talking about, you know, farewell and goodbye. And I'm like, it's your first album. Like, what, you're breaking up? But then you read that and it's, no, that's when the, the ships were leaving and... Um, you know, their album wasn't deemed good enough to take part in all that. So, uh, that's obviously where the rockets and the roosters and uh, the boosters and all that come about. So, 
I hope that sheds a little bit <laughs> more light on the album. And if you do find it, it is on uh, Spotify and everything else. So, um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. It's um, it was the album was created, put in a time capsule, and in 4020, someone else has opened it up, and then the the music that is created and the stories that are depicted corrupt them in their little garden of Eden, um, to which then history complete. Uh, com- continues and repeats itself and ultimately the demise of the humans again um but yeah enough blabbering on let's get back into the reaction So that's the original, guys. Um, I do apologise for that big breakdown in the middle, but um, yeah, I I find it quite interesting that um, you know, like these these albums that people put together sometimes are um, a pure artistic expression. Sometimes they're uh, like a biography of what's happening in their life, and then other times they're a concept album. Like um, they clearly wrote a few of these songs with that concept in mind um like probably sitting all around having a few drinks or um i don't know if they you know on the devil's lettuce or whatever but um just sitting around you know together and coming up oh like imagine this for a theory like you know we're, we're in forty twenty and we open this cut you know and then that's how ideas evolve and then out of that came this magnificent album so um but yeah as you can read in the title they're going to do a cover of Cindy Lauper, Time After Time. Um, yeah, like, I really don't know what to expect. Obviously, you've seen who the band is and, and the dynamic that they have. Um, how's that going to relate to Cindy Lauper? You know, we all know the, the time after time. But, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Caught up in circles, confusion is nothing new. Flashback one night, almost left behind. Suitcase of memories. Time after sometimes you picture me I'm walking too far ahead You're calling to me I can't hear what you said You say go slow I fall behind The second hand don't want If you lost you can lose you will find me time after time if you fall i will catch you i'll be waiting time after time if you're lost you can look and you will find me time after time if you fall i will catch you I like 
I like how they've stuck to the original format and everything now with the little um, the little nuance changes that he's done you know the the way he's made it his own like um, each artist I feel has to like if you just are a carbon copy of exactly the same note style and everything then you know you're not really an artist you're um, you're just a performer I guess so the fact that yeah, the only slight little tweaks, um, but yeah, I really love what he what he did there with the um, uh, like I'll be waiting, and then just how he how he dropped off there and uh, yeah, obviously I don't have a, as good a voice as this guy, but um, you know it's uh, it, it yeah it's really good so far. That's not the bit I was... I'll just go back to this bit. Time after time If you're lost, you can look And you, you will find, find me Time after time. time If you fall, I will catch you I will be waiting Time after time There just is enunciation there, Time though. after time Ran into some Californication Red or peppers on my playlist Can you feel that sensation? Where your letters, you're my favourite Opposite basic, I wanna taste it Stuck in a loop, she thicker than water I'm thicker than glue But knocking these habits like socks to my boot Blast all the boots to say I want you Cool heart in the west of Sydney Eight balls strapped on my belt, I'm catching Ash gone fall when her lips get sticky Angry boys pack ships like eskies Pull strings, I would die for love If I could take that back, up a for us Cold wind rise, can find it us We both got busted, ain't that custard Very fly with a drop top, non stop, King Street stop by the swap, swap shop. Swerving cops with my brethren, far from heaven, 67. Hope I don't drown in my vomit. No. Hope I get checked with the commas. Yeah. Never forgiven by honest. When you pass by, I still check up on it. Honest, I got stars in my comma, promise. You leave lips on my collar, squalor. She been calling me Connor, vomit. I've been down so long and it's all in the air. Placing my thoughts in a place to pretend. Battery, chemical, physical, battery, anarchy. This up is beautiful anarchy. If you're lost, you can look and you will yeah. find. Alright, um, a lot of the Aussie hip-hop groups, when they come on like a version and they do uh, like a rock pop song sort of thing and, and they infuse their little bit of hip-hop into it, um, you know, that that's a common thing to make it your own. You know, it's a bit hard for a hip-hop group to come in and do a, a rock song, you know, unless they all um, get on the singing. But obviously two of them aren't really singers, they're more rappers. Um, I'm loving the little guitar riff and stuff going on in the background. I think that really adds... To the whole thing and so far like um it, it's more like when they're making their rap song and, and you take a sample from a rock song that's what he's sort of done with the the chorus you know like they've shown um so it's i guess what i'm trying to say is it's not not totally out of this world um to think that this would work but it's not something you really think about when you're thinking of uh cindy lauper time after time you, you know so yeah, I, I quite like it. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Stuff is beautiful. Comment section. <laughs> what happened then? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Still crave the Mexinos I got left up in the dust Holding Q, GTO We all been steady drowning When we sick of our surroundings Monetize me when I'm ill That's when everything is beautiful Cause I'm a scumbag, terrier, slug, so slimy Still trying to find me in green rooms All blacked out in a black fist Still trying to find love, ain't that surprising? Well it's not to me I get down when I'm meant to be Give them hell when I'm meant to leave And pray to God I get left in peace that little bit of harmony there um it is yeah just i don't know like you can barely hear it 
but that's what makes it so good. If you lost, you can look and you will find me. Mm. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Whew. That was a special little treat. Um, you know, they've, they've had other bands that come on. Um, like another Aussie band, the DMAs, they've, they've come on to like a version and, and really flipped it with something that's not their usual style, not something you'd think that they'd, you know, they'd really attack. Um, I think it was a sure song. Um, but then they make it their own and, and it becomes a special, special little moment. And then obviously they've gone on to play it in gigs and whatever. Um, so just wonder, like, obviously, you know, you, you look at Triple One and, and how they've gone about things here. They're not, they're not what you'd call, uh, I guess, that traditional hip hop rap group. They're sort of, they're sort of got that modern edge to them. They, they got, you know, just just this dynamic that they can do pretty much anything. So, I think that can give them a lot of versatility. They don't just have to do like a pure hip hop song. They can do like a, a rock song with a bit of rap in it. They can, you know, they can really be versatile. So, um, yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comment section, guys. Um, let me know what you thought of Triple One. Make sure if you did like them, head over to their channel. I'll put a link to the description, a uh, link to their channel in the description. And um, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, if you like the concept of the Like Versions, there's uh, plenty of different bands, artists, and, and everything that, that come on and do that. Um, international artists have come across, uh, even Childish Gambino's come in and done one. So um, yeah, head over to the Triple J Like a Version. Just type in Like a Version in the search bar, it brings it straight up. Um, but again, I will leave a link to the uh, channel in the description as well. Um, and yeah, glad you could come on board for this one. Uh, if you're still here now, um, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. And uh, like always, guys, I'm that guy, Perps, and I'll see you in the next one.